Hello everyone, Tim Brown, my Apple podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. For this episode, I want to cover Autodesk Sketchbook. This is an application that allows you to make sketches using your iPhone or iPad. It's one of the first applications to come out for iOS. And it's really appropriate to cover it this time because they introduced a new feature where you can scan physical drawings and then bring them into your project as digital drawings. Uh, this is a great feature that opens up a lot of possibilities, especially those who have iPad Pros, because Apple right now is really encouraging the drawing and creative process. So this app really becomes a really nice tool for doing so. So let me just show you how this new feature works. So when you open Autodesk Sketchbook, uh, you'll see that you have an option to scan a document. And so what you're seeing on the left is my camera on my iPad uh, zoning in on this drawing that I made years ago, believe it or not, 30 years ago, that now all of a sudden I want to rework. I mean, it was just a sketch for an idea. Uh, it was back then when I majored in illustration. And what you're seeing here is a blue box that is automatically detecting the drawing that I'm trying to scan. And Autodesk will scan it automatically. And you may have to do it several times in case the scan is skewed. Because, again, it does it automatically, but once you get the scan you need, it then brings it right into the Autodesk library, basically the way it appears on the right. And then you can go ahead and actually continue scanning if you have more drawings, or go right into Autodesk. And when you go into Autodesk, you're going you're gonna to see that your scanned drawing is now a transparent layer. Of course, you can choose to keep it opaque by selecting the layer underneath and making and keeping it opaque. So basically that layer is white right now, uh, but I deselected it to keep it transparent. And this is really cool. I mean, you can import this drawing into other applications. You can continue to manip manipulate it in Autodesk. I mean, the skies are unlimited in terms of what you can do. One thing I want to show you though, when you're in Autodesk Sketchbook is how to then crop your sketch once you have it into your project here. Like for example, you can see I have that sketchy background, which comes in by default. I want to get rid of that. Uh, there isn't a crop tool that's built into the iOS version. Uh, so the way you do it here is you go up to the top menu up above and you select the selection tool and then you make sure you select rectangle. And then with rectangle selected, you then take your finger and just simply select the area that you want to crop, like so. I then tap that layer and then select copy. Or you can select cut as another option. And then I go up above and hit the plus symbol to add a new layer, tap on that layer, and then select paste. And with that done, I've just added another layer on top of the existing layer, but the, the layer on top has now been cropped. So if I deselect the layer underneath, you see I now have a nice clean canvas with the image that has been cropped. And if I actually deselect the bottom layer, you can also see the transparency of that drawing as well. And now I have a digital image I can go in and now continue drawing using the built-in sketch tools that come with Autodesk Sketchbook. So anyway, that's Autodesk Sketchbook and a new scan feature. Check it out. It's pretty cool. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Myable Podcast. You can catch me at myablepodcast.com as well as YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. See you next time.